Hello, so today I'm going to be doing my third nursery DIY. I was going to wait till the baby was here to do this one, um, but we're now a week overdue and there doesn't seem to be any movement, so we're just going to crack on with it. Um, so basically it's a chest of drawers and I got this chest of drawers about a year ago. It's got lovely little legs and it's just really sweet and someone was giving it away for free and even though I had no reason for it, I picked it up and I'm glad I did now because it'll be perfect in the nursery. Um, it does have quite dark wood and I want to lighten it up. So I'm thinking some kind of whitewash, um, which I have done before, but not to a big piece of furniture like a chest of drawers. So we'll see how that goes. Um, also the hardware is really pretty, the little ring pull handles, but they're very old and very dark. So I'm thinking perhaps a little bit of rub and buff um, in the gold color. That will sort of bring those out a little bit and yeah a few little ideas but i will take you along for the journey okay so this is the chest of drawers as you can see it's really really sweet it's got lovely little feet and nice little ring pull um drawer handles which is very cute um it's definitely a little bit worse for wear it's got some staining on the top but we're going to be sanding it down and whitewashing it so hopefully we can disguise some of that but I think it'll look really lovely in a nursery when it's done. So my first job is to get all the drawers out, get all the hardware off and start sanding. hardware here as you can see they're quite old and rusty and definitely need a bit of sprucing up so I'm going to take my rub and buff which is something I've used before and you basically just pop a little tiny bit onto a rag and simply start rubbing it on and as you can see it immediately brightens it up and the good thing about this stuff is that you don't need a primer you just pop it straight onto the metal and it makes them look a lot brighter and fresher. Say what you want to say to me now. I want to wake up with you in the morning. Show me the kind of fake to me now. I want to wake up with you in the morning. Say what you want to say. So tomorrow I'm hoping to crack on with the chest of drawers that I started just before Nye was born. It's for his nursery. Um, so I don't know if you remember, but I sanded the whole thing down and I'm hoping to give it a whitewash finish. But I did mention that there was something that I wanted to do to one of the drawers. And basically what it is, is I've got some of these decorative wooden mouldings. And I'm thinking I could put one of these in the centre drawer in the middle just to add a little bit of decoration and just to make it look quite pretty. So that's the plan. However, these are a very light wood and the chest of drawers is a bit darker so the plan is to stain this in the hope that it will um, look the, like roughly the same as the chest of drawers and then I can glue it on and whitewash the whole thing so it kind of looks like it was always there that's the plan anyway so I'm going to see how I get on so um, my stain has arrived from Amazon so I'm going to give that a try now in the hope that it will dry and I can do the whitewash tomorrow okay so I'm ready to go I've got my stain which is the furniture clinic wood stain i've just put a little bit in an egg cup got my paintbrush i've got the little molding and i've got a little rag to wipe the excess off so i've actually never stained anything before i don't know how i think it's because i'm always lightening things rather than making them darker um i'm just going to give it a try i'm just going to pop it on with a paintbrush and then wipe it off relatively quickly with the rag <laughs> wash mix here I've just put 50 50 paint and water it's normal white emulsion paint I do have furniture paint somewhere but I can't find it so we're just gonna go with that and then some rags to wipe it off with I've done so far and I'm not sure I'm loving it it's actually worse on camera as well um 
but it's just a little bit streaky. You can see the brush strokes, which is, I wanted it a little bit more subtle. So I'm going to maybe put some more water in, uh, water down the mix a bit and see if that makes a difference. But this is the side that won't be seen when it's in position. So that's why I'm kind of experimenting on this side first. Like Okay, this is much better. Um, so thinner consistency just means I don't have to rub it in quite so much. And it just gives a lot more of a subtle finish, which is what I want. So yeah, much happier with that. Gonna crack on with the rest. The chest of drawers is looking absolutely stunning. I'm so, so thrilled with it. I actually ended up rubbing off all of the rub and buff gold that I put on the handles because it felt a little bit too bright and I decided I wanted a more antique -y look. Um, but I left that process on here just in case any of you wanted to do that with yours. But yeah, we're done. Looking really great. Please, please leave a comment down below if you like what you saw today. And of course, make sure you're following me at the stylepad underscore UK for more DIY content. I've got one more nursery DIY coming up and then I can do the nursery reveal. Take care guys.